my creatives and welcome to another video. So today I thought I would just do some chatting and some collaging with you because, well, I shared with you that I love to create a lot of master boards, but then you also have to create something with them, right? Uh, I'm a bit tired. I just felt like putting on a camera, do a bit of collage. I don't know if it will work out or anything. Uh, I'll just go for it. But first, before I started, I wanted to show you some examples of what you can do with a master board. So, um, these I made from a master board. And all I added was a ticket, a cigar band, a word, and a bird. And um, same for this. So, I just add a, lot of, a little bit of collage on top of the... Um, cards that I cut out. So that's what we're going to do. You can also turn them into tags. Uh, very cool. So I use the fuzzy cuts that I cut out from books. Uh, this is with a more of a red theme with a fox. This one with a bird. And then I also have this one with a tiger cat thingy. So those are already made and I had a lot more of these kind, uh, but I used them already in my journal. Um, but here are some examples of backgrounds that I still have left. Uh, so these ones I can use to collage. Uh, so a lot of these are 3x4 cards or 4x4, 4x6. I also have some smaller ones and these are uh, very neutral. Uh, with coffee splatters and um, made from book pages. So I thought let's create something with uh, with these to just do some collaging. And before I will start doing that and show you what I have prepared, I will show you some examples in my uh, junk journal. And I will zoom you out a little bit for that so you can properly uh, have a look into my junk journal. So this is the junk journal I am working in. Um, she's almost full and getting really fat. <laughs> but I, I love her. So I want to share a few examples. Uh, I'll zoom out just a tiny bit more. With you on how I use these journaling cards. So first of all, this is the first page that I want to share. And then mainly uh, this here. So this was an envelope bound in the book and I used one of the backgrounds you just saw, this, and I turned it into this uh, journaling card. So this is more mixed media from my super mixed media phase. Uh, I'm now in a completely paper phase and paint is disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, I go through these phases. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I also I journaled on the back, but I will not show you that. Uh, I go through these phases, and now I'm in this junk journal, paper crafting, only paper, no mixed media, you paint is dirty phase. So then um, next is uh, this one. This is actually just the card uh, that I made with this series that I just showed you. This is a four by six card. So. Uh, I just added, I put a collage behind it, I added here and I added a tag to do some journaling on. Uh, so the most part, I use these when I do want to be a little bit of a bit creative, but I have trouble starting up because they're already made. So I just put something nice around them. And then uh, I also did that on this side with one of these backgrounds. And this was just a plain background uh, that I added on this page with some collage and then I put him on top of that bird. So this was a really, really fun, fun page to, to create. And uh, then I also have this one, um, which has uh, a strip of this underneath and I have sewn onto it. So uh, that is this one, and I just used that as a background piece. Then here I used one of these cards as, as a tuck, uh, tuck spot. So there is um, some stuff behind here. Um, then I also have this one here. I just put one of the, these blank cards, um, blank ones, 
behind here and that helped me with collaging and then I have uh, one of these cards here just as a decorative element because I really liked what was on this page and wanted to keep it uh, so I did a collage on top here and you could still see what uh, was underneath. So that are, uh, those are some examples of what you can do with your um, collaged cards, of course. You can also uh, use them to send out in mail, which I also like to do. Also, before I move on, I want to show you something else. I found something cool in a thrift store today. Uh, it's a thrift store far away from me, I will tell you soon. Um, but I first want to show you. So I found these two very cool postcards. Uh, I love them. So I will use these definitely. And then I found this book and it's uh, Music Lessons for Guitar. And look, it looked so cool. I couldn't figure out how old this is, but I love the coloring. But I also like that the music is different. So this will be... Great, uh, great for collage. Love these <laughs> illustrations. Uh, so yeah, this 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 will be amazing uh, for collage. And this was just two euro fifty, and I have a whole whole lot of this uh, with some very cool, very cool music paper. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you as well. Um, that I got this, and this is already falling apart completely. So I'm definitely going to use that. Um, but not today. So today we are going to create back, uh, create some cards, some ephemera. So what do I have around here? I have some tiny Tim Holtz people. So these are the small ones. I have some fussy cut botanicals. I have some fussy cut birds. A lot of birds. I would really would like to use these. I have this small tiny paper pad if I want to add something of color uh, it also has vellum then I have a cigar box with cigar bands I have uh, cut up a book that had all types of things about writing so there was a lot of cool ephemera in here so I can use this um, for adding to the backgrounds then I grabbed out uh, three stamp sets from Tim Holtz. This one I have not used before, this is new, so I would really like to use that one. I also have, uh, this is the eccentric, I have the field notes, I have the one with the moth pulled out, and I also have the one with faded type, because I like this in background. Then I have around here my big ephemera book with Lots of random ephemera stuff I like to go through when I don't know what to pick. Uh, because there is a lot of random stuff in here, some small things. So let's see if I can find some things I would like to use on, uh, on these cards. But I'm not sure because they're quite big things in here. Then I have my uh, stamp album with Tracy Fox labels here. And I also have uh, my stamp album with stamps. So that is what I have around here. Uh, I just prepared a little bit so I don't have to, you know, wander off to get things. Um, but if I think of something, of course, I will also have some glue pages here so I can so I can glue. So everything will just be laying around me. Uh, and I will uh, I will work on these cards while I do a little chatting with you. Oh, yes, I also wanted to show you I have this basket where I keep the stuff that I have made. So in the front there are finished uh, finished cards that I can use or send out. And then I have these from the master boards that I have cut up. I have still master boards um, completely uh, complete, <laughs> not cut up. So when I cut them up, they, they go in here. 
And then when I need something, I can pick it. These are tags from mixed media projects that I have, uh, well, mopped up paint with. I love it, but I have, I have no clue yet what I want to do with this. And then I have uh, packaging material here, uh, just in case I want to make a tag or something small and I need something sturdy. So that's here, uh, that's on the side, but I have it here. So let's get started. First of all, what do I want to use first? Let's see. I think I want to make a tag out of this one. So I will put these aside and maybe a journal card out of this one. Um, and now we just browse my stuff. So I put these aside. Uh, first of all, I, I go by this uh, by picking a focal point. And I would like to have a bird. Also, I would like to ink the edges. So I'm going to take walnut stain. Uh, why? Because it's on my desk. <laughs> I'm going to ink the edges. Yeah, so today, I, um, Ute and I had to go to Utrecht. Uh, which is an hour and a half a drive away from my house because he had to go to the military hospital. So the military has their own hospitals and that is not, that's the, the one for us to go. It's nothing serious. He just had to go for um, a throat, nose, ear specialist uh, for his um, tonsils, I guess it is, you call it that. Uh, they will get, uh, they will snip them out. So he had to go there for uh, to check everything out. Uh, so we were there, and then they had to plan everything and stuff, you know. Uh, and uh, I had to look around because I never, I'm never in the area. And I have learned from Margaret that there is a, a Kringloop app, <laughs> a thrift store app in the Netherlands. So thank you, Margaret, for that because that makes it a lot easier for me. To figure out <laughs> uh, which uh, Kringloop <laughs> or thrift store I would like to go to. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I downloaded the app and I just checked the app. And I saw that there was a Kringloop in Nieuwegein uh, I would like to go to uh, when we uh, return from the hospital. So... Um, Oots is always very nice because, of course, he <laughs> he he does nothing in in thrift stores. He's like, yeah, he doesn't really he he doesn't care about thrift stores, uh, but he knows it makes me really happy. So uh, yeah, he's the sweetest. He goes everywhere with me. Uh, sometimes when I'm sad, he says, "Do we need to go to a thrift store or something?" And then I'm like, "Oh," <laughs> so then he goes with me. Uh, so yeah, we went to a thrift store, and um, it was actually such a nice thrift store. And uh, we even got a cup of coffee. The people were very nice. I think I need to zoom in a little bit more for you so you can see more properly, right? I hope you don't see my head again. I will try not to do so. Um, yeah, so the, the people were very, very nice. And um, we got a cup of coffee. The prices were also very nice. And that is where I got that. Um, ooh, maybe I like this. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's amazing. So this also happens. <laughs> he is amazing. I want to make him. Okay. So. I will put that one aside. Maybe maybe later on. I wasn't sure about these birds. I want to do find a bird for this, but I'm not sure yet on which one. Also, I would like to make it into a text shape. So, but he is so cool. I love him. Uh, yeah. So it was really nice. The prices were also very very good, um, and just uh, the people working there. It was great. It was such a great experience. So I was very happy we went there. And then I thought maybe I just want to soon just grab the car, <laughs> drive through the Netherlands and just drive 
to different thrift stores. So if one of my duchies has a uh, recommendation for a thrift store, let me know in the comments and then uh, I can go there. I will take the car and then, uh, yeah, we'll just drive around. Uh, and why am I saying that? Well, lately I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well, so uh, don't worry, please. But lately I've been extremely tired. And uh, it's because of some personal things going on here. Um, I'm just mentally a little bit tired. And I don't know. I'm just so done with people and their... <laughs> mm, I'm just going to say it like this bullshit. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel very, very tired. So I just want to have some alone recharging time. And I think I, Chris Thrissor always, always make me very happy. Uh, so I thought maybe I should do something like that. That's also why I started crafting and filming again. Because it, this feels like I'm having me time with you. Like this is this is just me, you having, doing some crafting. It's, life's good, you know, easy going. I don't have to think a lot about everything. Because yeah, lately, I, I don't know. There's some stuff I have to think about it and I makes me really tired <laughs> i also um what also doesn't help i guess or does help is i quit smoking again for five weeks now is it five weeks i think it's five weeks yeah um i quit smoking in 2021 my pa my former patrons know when i quit smoking i have a very addictive personality. I was a drug addict when I was younger. And I was a teenager. And smoking was the only thing that was still left from that. So I um, take forever to find a bird. So <laughs> I will do this bird. Uh, yeah. So um, that was the only thing left from my addic addictions. And that was okay. But we, of course, would like to have children in the future. And, you know, it's better for your health. And I felt stable enough. So we quit smoking and then I got a burnout. So I quit smoking for four months and two weeks the last time. And then I got a burnout. So I started again because, well, better be smoking than doing other stuff, right? <laughs> That's also one of the reasons that I got help for myself again. Because, well, I, I was having some thoughts that were very alarming. Um... But now I am, I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually really, really well. I, f I feel uh, a lot better. Um, so we quit again. And I'm actually very happy that I quit. Because smoking is also very stressful. If you think about it. Because I also have to plan where to smoke, when to smoke. Uh, yeah. So maybe that is also part of why I'm mentally a little bit exhausted. <sighs> And needing some me time. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. Do I want to stamp on this one? And if so. What stamp do I want to use? I do think it would be very cool. To stamp. Um, I will take out. This one. I just have these folders uh, so the stamps don't fall out when I am uh, storing them. Uh, because I noticed that sometimes these stamps uh, will fall out and it's annoying me. Especially when I have more stamps uh, falling out and I have to figure out in which set they belong. Um, so yeah, that's why I have them in these folders. So I'm thinking maybe I need some stamping, uh, some background stamping with this. And um, then some stamping with this. So I feel like this needs to be a little bit more balanced. But what kind of stamp do I want to do? Do I want to use this one? Do I want to use this text here? To, you know, add a little bit of texture. Or do I want to go immediately... For something a little bit more prominent. So I'm not sure yet. What I want. Let's see. If I do this. 
what will happen. I think it would also be cool if I would do something completely diff different than I usually do. And that is just do some dominant stamping right away. And see what I think about that. Hmm. Maybe, and maybe it would be cool if I took the moths and because I don't feel, I'm not feeling the butterfly, but if I took a moth and off stamp him here and then maybe some more numbers and stuff. I will also take out the two pounds. Yes, so I um, I, th I think I just go for it. Do I want to stamp with black or brown? Uh, I have black. Of course, I also have gray. Do I want to stamp with gray? Or... I also have these two browns, permanent inks. Um, yeah, you can see them. So here, these two browns and of course black. So I am thinking I will put this one aside because we're not working on this one right now, but we are working on this. Do you know, it's something funny. I, I also want to have the tag shape. Let's make the tag shape. The funny thing is, is when I start this, when I started this, I thought, oh, well, this will be nothing. I don't know what to do. Uh, I will probably suck at it. <laughs> I will probably not figure out what to do and then I just delete this video but I guess I think I don't know for some reason I always figure out something to create but this is a little bit of the mind that side that I've been in this past year that I am afraid that I don't know what to make and it will not come because it has been a while since I created. I was feeling motivated or inspired, you know. Um, but with creating, is the more you create, the more creative you will get. <laughs> so I'm still thinking black or brown. I think if I do brown, it will be a lot of brown. Or do we need to have gray? Because maybe black is a bit too much. Is gray in his beak? Okay, let's do uh, let's do gray. Let's do something different. Let's go for gray. Also, of course, this is not the only thing that I'm going to do. I am going to uh, use some other collage pieces as well to collage uh, behind him. Um, but I think I first want to do some stamping. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I quit smoking. So, I also think that maybe I have a little bit of this <laughs> tiny bit of anger problem or tiredness <laughs> because of that. But I'm very proud of myself that I did. And I feel a lot better without this um, addiction. So, yeah. It's very good. Also, me sharing this with you is also a winning streak for me how do you say that overwinning <laughs> in dutch uh, because i was always very ashamed about my um, addictions um or at least you know online because people can be so judgmental and i cared a lot about people's opinions but I don't really care about people's opinions anymore. Well, I, of course I do care, but not um, like that, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I'm very proud of myself that I quit smoking. And um, I'm going to continue this. Um, so we will see what the future will, will bring. I think, should I stamp him gray? Yeah, I will. I will stamp in gray. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just, this is what I usually do. Ooh. 
uh, throw stuff around. That's also what I usually do, by the way. Uh, this is what I usually do um, in silence in my craft room when I have my iPad over there um, playing uh, YouTube. So then I watch Margaret or Barbara or anyone else um, on YouTube. And then I uh, I craft and this is this is what I do and then I figure out stuff and if I don't like it then well I don't like it and then that's that. Um, so this is uh, <laughs> this is the the very extremely <laughs> natural how I usually craft um, well state of things. My desk is also completely full of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really, really liked him. Um, but now I think I maybe need something else with a number. And I also need a hole. So I'm going to grab my crocodile. Uh, now? No. I'm going to do that in the end. Because maybe I'm going to do something else with collage. And then it will be up there. But I do want to add a another number something thingy i think over here to balance out a bit of the the gray and i want to have a third something i do like it that he is in between this so what do i want i want a small number thingy do i want to have a number thing yes i want to have a number thingy because there is already text here so i do i do want to have a number thingy mm. Or a logo thingy. Ooh. I I have not used these small ones yet. So maybe I want to use this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I definitely just want to have number thingy. So I will take um, field notes. Do we have a nice tall number thingy? We have this book number thingy. I apparently have not used yet, so it's time that I'm going to use this. Yes, <gasps> fits perfectly, like it's meant to be. And then I want to have something here. Uh, let's see, in the eccentric one. If there is something I would like to add over there, and what would it be? <laughs> uh, let's see. What would I like to add? If I would add this big number five behind him, would you see it was a five? If I would just stamp it off a little bit, I don't know, maybe turn it or maybe turn it like this. And um, if I do this, then there definitely needs to come some collage here, but I would probably do that anyway. So why not add the 5 over there? Okay, I'm getting excited. I am getting excited. I am going to stand that 5 over there. And the beauty of this is you can't go wrong. And if you don't like it, you can just cover it up with something else. <laughs> so we're going to add the 5 here. Yes. Also, I'm not bothered by things like this, but I know there are people who are very bothered by that you can see the difference in paper. I'm not bothered by it because for me, all this stamping and stuff, it's all about the texture. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's in my junk journal. I really, really learned my lesson about perfectionism. So... Things don't have to be perfect anymore. And I also try not to worry about it. And like I said, sometimes it still, you know, lingers. But I try not to let it control me. Okay, so then we have that. So if we put him... Ooh, I actually really, really like this. I didn't expect that I would like it this much. But I actually really like this. Okay, do we need something gray up here? Maybe I should just stamp the little eccentric stars. 
just a touch of grey, so it's also up there. And then everything, I really like the grey. I did not expect that. So that it is a little bit imbalanced. I don't know, do I want it here? No. Hmm. Going to stamp it like this. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I love it. So, and as you see, I made time lapse videos before, right? So it looked probably like I was very, very quick <laughs> in crafting. <laughs> but actually, I'm not. I'm extremely slow. Uh, I uh, I like to take I like to take my time <laughs> and just you know do my thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm actually. I'm actually not that fast. Uh, I I usually have hours of footage. If I do, I want to have. Ooh, maybe I do want to have him here, because I think. But maybe then a little bit lower. Do you think that looks cool together? But then I also need other collage things. So let's move some stuff aside again, because my desk is already completely covered with everything. Let's move my birds. Oh, I can, I can put my birds away, because I already know that I don't want to add more birds to this. So I can put that away. I, do I want to have a label? Yeah, so I'm pretty, um, pretty slow with, <laughs> with crafting. Maybe a green one. Uh, but you never knew, because you only saw the sped up version. Um, yeah, so. But I thought, uh, when I w thought of making videos again, I thought I want to do it completely different than I did before. So I want to be relaxed and I, I don't know what it was about... Um, Thinking about doing voiceovers already stressed me out completely. So I already knew that voiceovering wasn't going to happen. Oh, I really like where this is going. So I'm going to do the two labels because then I have three greens. Oh, I really, really like this. See, you never know what you're going to create until you're going to create. Uh, yeah. So that's with the voiceovers that really stressed me out. I thought about that. So that is why I chose to do real-time videos now and just have fun. I also have a lot of fun editing them. And um, I enjoy making them. And then besides that, should I do some brown stamps, some neutral? Let's go to the neutral section. Uh, besides that. I thought it would be somewhat like doing the lives, but not live, uh, because I know a lot of you li really liked live streaming and stuff. So if I did, I did live streaming. So I thought this way it would feel like I would be in your living room with you, uh, but not being live. <laughs> so for me to relax, uh, because I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. Uh, yeah, so that is, that is what I thought of. I don't know, let me know. I, I really enjoy this. I did get uh, some positive feedback from you about how I am filming my videos right now. So I think uh, I will just keep doing this and enjoy and just enjoy myself. Because quite frankly, I'm very much enjoying this process. And <laughs> enjoying how I am filming now so I would not change this do I like that oh actually I do um, maybe I need a stamp over here as well so what do I need what kind of stamp do I need I have old stamps but I also have very modern stamps I really don't care as long as they have the color, of course, I really like the old stamps. Um, but 
in collage you can use whatever you want these are some stamps that are from the other stamp album that i have my labels in uh, and i um <clears throat> was too lazy <laughs> to sort all of them by color um yeah so these are just in here well <laughs> They should be sorted by color. No, I don't like this. It's too dense. I need something with a bit more light in there. Maybe this one. This German one. I'm also going to ink the labels, by the way, because I see a little bit of a white edge. But first, I want to check out my... Please, go. I want to check out my collage, how things are looking. Yeah, so what I said is, uh, this is very, very relaxing for me. I am having a great time. I hope you are enjoying it as well. Um, like I said, I have heard from several of you that you really enjoy me. First of all, being back. And second of all, filming like this. I don't like it over there, this one. But maybe I want to put him somewhere else. Um, so yeah, so t tonight, because it's evening and I'm tired and I did want to craft, so tonight I thought I will just pop on the camera, have a little chat with you on how I'm doing. Uh, definitely let me know how you are doing, because of course I want to know that too. I missed you guys too. Um, so it's good, it's good to be, it's good to be back. I don't, I don't think this is the right stamp. I need something else. <laughs> um, yeah. I miss you guys too. It was fun. It, it's fun to talk to like-minded people again. And just, you know, create. Create content. Do the thing. <laughs> and just enjoy. Do I like this? I guess I like this. Then this one I want to have here. So maybe I need something down there. But just something small. Not too big, not too much. Not too much in your face. Hmm. Let's see if I can find something like that. Oh, she says while she's picking out one of some of the boldest stamps she has. <laughs> Maybe if I turn this around. I also don't care if uh, things aren't straight on there because I think that gives character. So not everything has to be faced up right. So this stamp is on its side and I like that. And why I picked this one, I want to put it here, is because I think it fills in that gap really nicely. I think this is what we are going to do. Don't you think so? I actually, I actually really like this. So I'm going to glue things down, putting this aside. I see I already spent 40 minutes on this on this card and talking to you. Okay, um, what do I, I will just upload it and whoever wants to watch, watches and who doesn't, doesn't. So yeah, um, I am, well, I'm just going to glue this on and then I will be back with the next step. Okay. So I glued everything down now and I also put in a uh, silver eyelid. So I thought, um, <laughs> since this video is already uh, forever long, I thought uh, it would be a good idea if I would do just do this off camera. I use uh, a copper dial and we are memory keepers eyelids for that. So I think for most of you who are watching, it is not something new. So I actually really, really like this. So this one, uh, but I also still, even though the video is already quite long, I still want to make him because he looks so cool. <laughs> so I have to create something with him, but I'm not quite sure yet because this 
background is already pretty busy. I will zoom in a little bit more. So this background is compared to, to this, um, a little bit more busy. So what am I going to do? I am checking my label. So I don't think that I'm going to stamp on him because he is already blue over there. Everything is in the way. Mm, because he is already, you know, on a very busy background. On the other hand, if I would stamp something bold and black, it would also be very cool. But then I first have to figure out what I want to do. I know I definitely want to use something neutral. And I, I would like to have something he could stand on, I guess. Because now it feels like he's, like he's floating on this card. Uh, which I don't really like. So I need something to anchor him a little bit. And I guess this will do. Then maybe I want to have a tiny one over here. I want to have this one. Maybe here. No, I don't want to have this one. I do want to have a tiny one. But maybe I want to have this one over here. Let's see. Or behind his head. No. No, 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 no. Do I want to have him like. Oop. This is such a tiny label, it's super fiddly. I want to have him here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I want. I want to have him there. Oh, yes, I like this. Okay, we're going for that. Then maybe we need a postage stamp. Or maybe we need this. Do we need one of these? It's a little bit yellowish, so that's why I thought of this. We do lose the R, but I actually really like... Do I want to have it under his beak? I also really like that. Then maybe we just need a postage stamp. So they don't, don't all have to take as long as this one. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so... Uh, they, they can also be very, very quickly a neutral stamp. So I don't want to have a color because this is pretty neutral. Mm, let's see, a neutral one. This one. Covering up the face. <laughs> do I want to have that one over there? I do like it, actually. So, and maybe I want to have a stamp up here behind. And uh, this is a bit too purple. This is a very industrial stamp, but I really like the gray. So I'm just going to ignore that I'm putting it upside down. On my, I'm just going to ignore that <laughs> uh, because I really like the balance and I really like the color. But then I stay think, do I still need the label over here, or do I want to have the label more over here uh, because now it doesn't feel so floaty anymore? I do actually. And then maybe we need a stamp over there. But first, let's glue this down. So I will glue this down and then I will be back with you. So I stuck everything down. And now I am thinking, I don't think it needs stamping. I think it maybe needs a word. Or does it need stamping? <laughs> um, let's see. I will grab my 
stamp set and look if it does need stamping. Let's see. I do really, really like this stamp set. So Margaret, thank you for sharing this and now I bought it. I do really, really like it. No, does it need stamping? Okay, maybe. I do think I like this one. That is this number. Maybe I want to add it here. And maybe I want to add something else. Let's see. We have clean check. That is also a pretty small stamp. I'm always afraid that when I take out these stamp hold stamps that I completely tear them apart and ruin them. But they are pretty stuck in here. So, let's see. I think clean check. Because maybe I need some other number, something that doesn't overlap with the um, with the stamp over there, so it needs to be a bit smaller. But I do like to have a number there. Maybe this, either this one or the nineteen thirteen. Let's try. Let's try nineteen thirteen. Yes, this I am going to stamp in black, otherwise you will never see it again. So I'm doing the claim check. Yes, I like it. Just gives a extra little something. 1913 will go up here. Yes, actually, actually really, really like that. Does it need a word? And I do have words. I have lots of words even. I have all these Tim Holtz words, which I love. I do think it needs big chats. Let's see if there is a word I like, and I would like to have it in black, I think, yes. Let's see if there is a word that fits. I don't know this this card because dreams. I think that is a beautiful sentence. Do I like this? Let's see. Trying to put it on as straight as possible. I like this. Does this one need a word? I don't think so. I think this one is perfect as it is. Uh, yeah. So I will put these in screen. Zoom you out a little bit so you can see both of them. Uh, so yeah, this is a terrible long video for uh, two... Uh, Two cards. Well, I also showed you, of course, <laughs> all kinds of stuff um, beforehand. I already talked for 10 minutes before that. But uh, yeah, so we made these two together. We just collaged. I had fun. I'm going to use them in my journals or send them out to the snail mail. There's nothing on the back. I uh, When I sent them out to the snail mail, I let the recipient decide. And uh, for this one, I should have maybe done something on the back. But there's this nice book page. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, these are the cards we made. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you did too and created something for, your else, for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and uh, until next time.